the new uh the the seekers this this monarch yeah. seeker yeah, yeah. technology yeah, dave, can yeah, you, dave can you pull it up because we don't need to hear the audio anyway um there's these new monarch seekers they're basically a robotic QB that allows receivers to run routes without a QB. So basically, Kyler Murray has to do even less work now. Um, here's Mohamed Sanu catching <laughs> catching balls over his house. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that's crazy, yeah. George Kittle uses it. Mike Evans uses it. The Green Bay Packers u- use them and everything. Basically, you could put six balls. It's like a it's like a jugs machine on steroids. But you can also set it to, hey, I want to do uh, forty yard routes over the shoulder catches. I want to work on that. Or I want to do, hey, crossing routes seven yards. You can uh, yeah. the defenders. They can also use it. Say uh, Kirk Cousins uh, throws fade routes a lot while uh, on third and three in the red zone. Now you can work on like basically Kirk Cousins is perfect. Uh, yeah. fade route pass. It's 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 nuts. It's crazy. Yeah. Or you can do the Donovan McNabb setting where it just throws <laughs> the ball straight into the ground. You, know? you press, yeah. press worm burner on the thing. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah. It looks like a Gatling gun. It looks like something we should be sending to Ukraine to help with their like defense, you know, like retrofit it <laughs> with rockets or something like that, you know? But it's like, it's it just, is like, because yeah, when you put the ball in the jugs machine, it only goes one direction. Yeah, one guy has to sit there and reload it. Yeah. 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 It's crazy, man. Because right? yeah, I looked at a side by side of the monarch next to the jugs machine. And the jugs machine just looked like an old like computer. It's like imagine putting like a laptop next to like a boxy, like a uh, compact computer from 15 Ooh, years ago. The jugs shout machine, out to the compact. The that was jugs my first machine computer. is like, so outdated and obsolete next to the monarch. But uh yeah, it's crazy. And then you wear a thing on your like wrist, mm-hmm. I guess. It's like a pulse, you know, it's like a monitor or something where it tra- you know it tracks your movements. Um, so you get all the data back off of that at the same time. But yeah, I mean, it's crazy, man. I just, you know, I guess someone was saying like, well, why don't you just get a, one of your backup quarterbacks to throw you like 50 balls, you know, that way. Okay. Well, the guy's arm starts to get tired after, <laughs> you know, a little bit. So the, the Monarch does not get tired and it's just like, Hey, you want, yeah, I want to do 50 reps of like, uh, you know, mm-hmm. go route or something like mm-hmm. that. So you program it and you do your 50 reps of that and the robot just throws you the balls, man. But yeah. it's like, it so measures like you're, get them. it measures like you're tracking like 30 times per second. It's like an insane. Yeah. It was developed in Iowa. Mm-hmm. Uh, you think the Iowa Hawkeyes would have more of an offense with, with, since this, this this jugs machine on steroids has been getting utilized in their practice facility. For the like jugs the machine years. is now like sitting in Iowa's dustbin as they just <laughs> run the ball behind like seven beefy white dudes every single time out. You know, two tight ends, yeah. five offensive, corn fed offensive linemen. You know, but it's funny because they don't. Uh, they actually started using these in college. They showed up mm-hmm. in college before they did in the NFL because the tweet yesterday was uh, the Green Bay Packers is the first NFL team to use it. Um, so it just makes you wonder because I thought, you know, anything about the Eagles too, like always kind of being at the forefront of, um, you know, innovation always, and always, technology, like uh, innovation, technology, analytics, all that shit. You know, it's all the same family of shit, right? So like, okay, well then you'd think like the Monarch would be something they'd be interested in, you know? Yeah. You think Al Calby's creaming his shorts over this video? He probably loves it. Yeah. He's probably leaking to somebody right now. I tried to get a monarch two years ago. <laughs> I didn't want. And, and Doug Peterson yelled at me in front of. That's probably why Doug Peterson yelled at him in front of the whole uh, Novacare complex. Yeah. <laughs> Behind Kepler's curveball machine. Thank you, Bumpy Jonas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, is this the future of sports technology? I mean, punters and kickers. Maybe we don't need them anymore. Do we even need quarterbacks anymore? If if you tell me I can have Jalen Hurts underthrow AJ Brown on a go route, or I can just have the monarch throw a beautiful 70 yard shot over to AJ Brown. I'm taking the Monarch 10 times out of 10 twice on Sunday. Yeah. I was looking at like costs. Uh, and of course it's like one of those things where it's like call for pricing. It's like you're buying a boat or something, you know, yeah. or you got to show up and ask the guy in, in person, you know, but I saw somewhere that they were listed at $50,000. Okay. Uh, okay. Which I mean for a pro NFL team is nothing. It's like a drop in the bucket, you know? So it, it, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I, I just love how far they've come with all the, with all the technology, I mean, you can, you can emulate and replicate so many different kinds of things. And, you know, at the end of the day, like what it does more than anything is it just, it, it, it mirrors it. it how do I say this? It maximizes reps. It yeah. just makes your reps mean something. Cause that's what it's about more than anything. Like I, honest, honestly, God, I'm going off on kind of a tangent here, but this is something I've thought about a lot. I dabbled in coaching very briefly and then I wasn't really? able to do it. But if I like, just, just like, you know, not very long, but one of the things I always hated when I was being coached by other people, you know, soccer, football, whatever, is that we just did, we just didn't do enough reps of stuff. Hmm. So to me, like, I think that's an underrated sports topic. And it's, it's one of the things you hear with the Eagles in these, uh, 
in these joint practices, right? Okay, well, we don't really care about the preseason games because we got the reps we needed in this. We got the reps we needed in 11 v 11. We got it during training camp. So that's kind of like a word that people don't focus on enough. And I would always try to maximize if I was coaching people, I'd be like, rep, 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 mm -hmm. rep, rep, do it again, line up, do it again, go, go. It sounds like an old school kind of thing, but you can replace some of the you know basic mechanics of it with technology you know so you don't so it doesn't have to be like the three dudes setting up setting up some, some drill <laughs> if the monarch can like take the kid take the place of one or two of those dudes you know what i mean and then nick sirianni though the big thing on him is oh 60 minute practices are not getting the full amount of practice allotted like what is he doing but he but supposedly those practices are very fast and they're and they're and they yeah, are yeah, getting yeah. the the necessary reps in. So I'm really surprised yeah. that they wouldn't have something like this. Can we get chips and balls, please, so we don't have to bring out the chain gang anymore? I mean, we got the fucking monarch throwing perfect passes, better than Kirk Cousins, better than yeah. Kyler Murray ever could. We well, talk about it with the, the ball. We talk about that. You know, people make this argument with like the robotic umps in you know MLB. You go. You know, if, if you can, you know, add some technology to to make things better. I mean, they do it with VAR in in soccer now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and more often than not, it works the way it's supposed to work. So you should always be trying to implement any, anything that you can, you know, I mean, I, oftentimes if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. But I think where we fall short as humans in general is to take good processes and adequate processes and just make those even better, you know? So it doesn't necessarily have to mean that like something needs fixing, but you can always improve upon what you, what you currently have. So how long until ESP charts the Monarch at practice? <laughs> uh, uh, Monarch went 12 for 15, day 170 one, yeah. yards. Yeah, yeah. four yeah. touchdowns, one interception, though. Yeah, AJ Brown dropped this one pass, but to be clear, the Monarch <laughs> threw him a shitty ball. <laughs>